Hi guys, Samantha back with a second part of the first impressions of Sims 4 City Living. And before we jump into the game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was eating a piece of candy before I started recording this part. Anyway, it was Halloween yesterday. So if you saw part one, all I did was talk about the create a sim um, objects, mostly clothes, hair, tattoos, earrings, things of that nature. Um, and then kind of like my first impressions, I didn't, I downloaded it last night, didn't get a chance to showcase it until today because last night it was kind of on the later side and I ended up playing it last night by myself off camera. And my first impressions were just kind of like, bleh, basically long story short. And that candy was so good. Oh my gosh, it's like still, <laughs> it's still lingering in my mouth. Anyway, so we're here with Selena Reed. Before we jump into the game though, I forgot the most important part of the creative sim aspect, but it has a lot to do with the gameplay. And that is the new traits and things that we have. So we have a new aspiration, just location. And basically it's just, um, learning more about city life and just, you know, things of that nature. And you get home turf as a bonus trait when you do that. And then for these traits, we have unflirty, which is the Sims get tense around flirty Sims and seldom get flirty themselves. It's difficult for them to be romantic in public, which is difficult if you're trying to flirt with an unflirty Sim, if you can imagine that. And then we got a uh, vegetarian which is the Sims will actively avoid eating foods that contain meat products and can become sick if they eat such foods. Yes. Isn't that crazy? So I think that was the only, let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah. Those were the only two new traits that we got. Yeah. So I'm actually, I don't want to do the unflirty because that just seems uh, not like the thing I want to do, but I'm definitely going to make her a vegetarian. I kind of want to make her materialistic because she wants to get in the city and own a big um, apartment, right? Like eventually we would want to work up to a big apartment. And I'm just going to kind of have her be outgoing because I feel like you need to be outgoing living in the city. And then we'll just leave it at that. I ended up picking this top. I After I went back and looked at it, I actually kind of fell in love with it. But I like it more so because of the structure, not too happy like look at it from the back that's a bad top like in a good way but from the front this little llama right here is is not i don't like it oh but i like the the idea the concept of the top anyway so let's jump into the game we're going to play with selena reed really quickly just to kind of show you guys uh san Mishuno, the apartments things of that nature i did when i was eating that candy look online at some of the reviews i am a glad because i didn't get a chance to read reviews and i am glad that i am not the only one and I am by far the minimal the, the I am like one of the many few that feel the same way about um this new expansion pack so I you know take it how it comes if you have the $39.95 uh to spend on it or $39.99 however much it was and you know I mean one okay let's just jump in let's just jump in I'm not gonna even go there anymore anyway so we have four different districts you guys have probably all read about that online we got the fashion district popular with young trendy sims the fashion district is also home to the romance festival and the geek con so uh basically those will be the cons that'll be in that location which is is actually kind of cool because when we jump into the gameplay i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but you have free world almost like on sims 3 within the neighborhood unfortunately you do not have free world or free reign in your apartment complex which what i mean is you could go downstairs uh, all this whole little area is pretty much, besides going to this um, karaoke bar, pretty much this whole open area is available for you to talk to. You can socialize. You could buy food. If there's a con there, you could definitely go and hang with the con. If there's like a street fair, anything there, you could deal with. You could do that without a loading screen. Go next door across the hallway to your, to your neighbor. You're going to get a loading screen. Go to this karaoke bar. You're going to get a loading screen. Go to any other neighborhood outside of your neighborhood, you're going to get a loading screen. And so that's a little bit nerve wracking because I can't stand loading screens. And so, of course, I'm not going to try to compare it with Sims 3 again, but it reminds me again of Sims 3 where we could just come and go as we please. And there was not that big of a deal. But of course, it's a beautiful world. Don't get me wrong. We'll get into it in a minute. But anyway, let's get into Uptown, which is the luxurious heart of the city. It's home to the rich, powerful and slightly odd. Then you have the Spice Market, a family neighborhood famous for a spice festival and flea market and Dockland views. And then we have last but not least, the Arts Quarter 
Quarter, which is for the Humor and Hijinks Festival. The Bohemian Arts Quarter is beloved by musicians, artists, and all manner of creative types. So depending upon the personality of your sim, you might want to be in the fashion, you might want to be in the hot and upcoming rich, you might want to be on the spice one, which is probably more like foodie type situations, or you might want to be an artistic. Then you have the park over here, which is the so oh, I forgot the name of the park, but this is where the wedding venue is. And it's like a really pretty park. Actually, when I was playing in my free time, the, the Briella, the girl I was playing with, her uh, boyfriend took her here for their first date. It's, it was it was really sweet. But anyway, so um, that's pretty much the world. You can go in. So like, let's say we'll go to Zen View Apartments. You can click. It'll tell you, of course, that you you can't afford the lot but if you click it it will tell you how much it costs if you could afford it how much monthly rent it'll be and like you can see this one is actually two separate units this one is occupied by someone and if you look around the outside this white line right here is that apartment you could go up and this is the rest of that apartment up the stairs so this is like a two-story apartment this one right here i can't afford so that's another apartment and then i think this is part of that other apartment so that's pretty much that apartment complex so you can kind of preview them before you commit then you have this one right here uh which is 1310 21 chic street as you can see weekly rent is 500 simoleons you pay a deposit of a thousand and if you want to get it fully furnished it is 14 thousand simoleons basically uh then we have this one which i think penny pizzazz lives in this apartment because i lived in this one while i was playing by myself and penny was across the way then you got this fixer upper here which is 300 dollars a rent a deposit is 600 but uh, and the furnishings cost 78.55 which is cheaper it's a two bedroom it's bigger but according to the trait lots or the lot traits I said that backwards. It needs some TLC. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means you'll have roaches. I don't know if that'll mean that you need to repair everything multiple times. But honestly, if you go in and it only costs, you know, 7,000 or 8,000, um, you could probably like down the rest of the money that you have in furnishing it and things of that nature. So then we go over here to Alto Apartments and we have this humongous lot right here, which is like a penthouse apartment. Then you got this one right here, which is occupied, so you can't see it. But I mean, this thing is huge. You know, you can't zoom into it, unfortunately. So you just have that view of it. And then we have uh, the land grab apartments. And this is one that is occupied right now. So we'll let you see it. But you, I mean, we can't rent it rather. But you could always kick people out if you want to. And then you got this one, which we can't afford. And then you go upstairs. And then there's another one. And then this one. So as you can see, yeah, you could totally kind of browse and see what apartments you want before you pick one. And then we have this one right here, which is, I forgot the name of the apartments just that quick. Uh, the Culpepper apartment. So this one is occupied. But you have this one, which is, 400 a week and 800 deposit and 8,000 furnishings. And it says the lot trait is gremlins. Yeah, gremlins. Uh, that doesn't sound very appealing. I mean, even though it's a cheaper apartment, then you got this one right here is 19 Culpepper house, uh, two bedrooms, one bath. It needs a little TLC. Then you got this one right here. AT Culpepper is haunted and it's historical. So as you can see, depending upon what the lot trade is, you might have different experiences. So if this is haunted, nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, there will be ghosts. Do you want to do an apartment that has ghosts? That is a question you have to ask yourself, but this is a fairly large apartment. Anyway, so let's go into, uh, what was the next one? Um, the Jasmine Suite Apartments. There's only one unit available, and that's this one right here. It's on a ley line. I don't know what that means. Um, and it has good schools. So if you are an up and coming mom, I guess, and you want to move in this apartment and have your child with you, then they can go to school and they'll be in a good neighborhood. And then this one right here is already occupied. So that's pretty much that one. So this is more like the family friendly one, which is probably why the apartments are a little bit on the larger side. Um, and then over here, you go to the art district and you have this one, Medina Studios, is for penny pixies and gnomes. I don't know what that means. But anyway, it is huge. It's 1200 though, a week and $1,000 uh, down with 17000 for the furnishings if you want to get it furnished. But this thing is huge. I feel like you would need multiple roommates. Uh, this one's occupied. I can't afford that one. And that's pretty much it for that one. And then we go to this last apartment, the Hycom House Apartments. You got this one, which is totally um, being occupied. And I can't afford this one. So that's pretty much it for the apartment. So you got, and then you can see when you kind of um, hoover over it, how many units are available, what families already live in there and uh, things of that nature. So I'm gonna go on and stick with what I know. 
We're going to get 21, 1310 21 Sheik Street. Pay the 500 simoleons for the deposit. And I'm actually going to get it. Uh, can I get it unfurnished? I don't know. This Quaint Apartments Gord generous windows are front row seats for watching the city's dwellers outside. The space makes perfect living quarters for a small group of roommates needing easy access to the center of the bustling city. So the neighbors live life to the max. There's often a party going on and I will admit that that is the case. So let's go on and move in. We can do it unfurnished if we want to, um, but you know, for the sake of this video, I will kind of showcase some of the uh, build by items, but we'll just go on and make it furnished. And uh, there you go. We can rent the apartment and we're in just like that. So uh, I do like the apartments, I guess. I do like the, the option to live in apartments. I do not like the gameplay of the apartments. And you'll see what I'm saying in a second. Um, you kind of... If we're going to have loading screens, I guess I felt like that it would center us in the apartment a little bit better. So you could like zoom all the way out and see like your little corner of your apartment and then everything else is just like blank slates. So, you know, uh, it's kind of like for gameplay especially if you want like more up and close and personal views of your sims and what they're doing it's kind of hard to maneuver around like a small slim apartment if you get what i'm saying you'll see what i'm saying so see like right here i'm zoomed out and if i'm way up here and i'm kind of like checking on my sim all i see is like empty rooms blank and people are totally well at least someone's living here because penny pizzazz lives here but um you know we don't this apartment is completely empty right now but i mean this is pretty much what you got um and like i said open world down here you could totally go down here and go grab you something to eat if there's a festival going down here you could uh you know do the festival i mean those views though are gorgeous i mean check it out i mean it's beautiful but the only thing is half of these buildings oh and there's penny pizzazz on this billboard right now um but anyway half of these buildings are not um they're not accessible. They're they're just for show. So, you know, you'll look at it and be like, wow, I want to go here, here, here. Like on Sims 3, and I hate to keep comparing it to Sims 3, you really could go to those buildings, you know, like, but it's pretty much up in like tall skyscrapers. You got all this hustle and bustle down here. I mean, check this out. But look, you can't even get down there. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's Sims totally walking down there, but I mean, they're just for show. You understand what I'm saying? So hopefully I'm 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 grass. I'm giving you guys what I mean. You got this metro rail system, but you can't really use the metro rail system. It's just for show. You got all these cars down here, and you all know how we feel about cars. We all feel the same way about cars. Give us cars back, and we can't even utilize the cars. But even if we did, where are we going? Because where are you going? <laughs> this guy right here, though, when I saw him on the billboard when I was playing by myself, I was like, oh, my gosh, that is daddy dreamboat over there. But anyway, so as you can see, like you can maneuver around. There's like a ton of scenery, a ton of pretty things to see. But like I said, none of these buildings are real. They're just like cardboard. Like I'm clicking them. Some of them are, but I'm clicking them and they're just like cardboard backdrops. So, I mean, if that's something that, I mean, you're OK with, um, you know, it's just one of those things. I don't know. I just, I, that makes me would miss Sims 3, to be honest with you. But when you're in your apartment, you have these beautiful views. It's very hard to put the windows, I mean, the, the walls completely up. But when you're out your apartment, you got these beautiful views. But like I said, of course, they're kind of superficial. Is, are these things going on downstairs? Yeah, right here, they really are because this is the little courtyard you could go down and kind of uh, go interact and socialize with. But other than that, like, see, when you want to get inside your apartment, you know, it's, it's just kind of hard and tight to kind of do in the apartment anyway let's get into build by mode really quickly i'm sure you guys saw some of the items that are up for grabs uh in the build by mode um and i mean it's it's oh it's one of those things where it's kind of like i mean we got beds okay cool we got some different types of chairs and stuff so we did get a lot of really nice cool furnishings um we did get um some displays we got like bubbles and fireworks and stuff like that uh, we got this garage mural which is not a real garage but you could treat it like a garage and you got this wall mural that if you wanted her to just like paint I don't even know where you put it at though uh, but I think this one is like if you wanted her to paint oh I guess you got to put it outside maybe on a wall I don't know um, so, you know, we did get a quite a bit. We got a basketball. Now, I will say I was excited about the basketball because I felt like we needed more sports types things. And uh, basketball was was really cool. Um, of course, you got these food court thingies like the little food stalls, but you can't 
Technically, I don't think you could put them in your house, but I think I read somewhere that somebody was able to successfully put one in their house. And <laughs> but that's like a whole other situation. And then you got planner boxes and things like that. You got posters, pictures, you got lights. I mean, you got curtains, you got a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I would go through everything, but I mean, you get the point. A lot of things are locked because once you go to cons or when you go to um, festivals or whatever, you can get those things. They're festival specific items. Um, some of the furniture I know is unlocked too because you could only get it for the flea market, which is kind of cool because then it'll be like different furniture besides the stuff. I mean, you know, when you go shopping, like in like the get to work aspect, like the buying, um, the going to the store, going to the furniture store, you could buy things that are totally like already in the game to buy. So it's kind of like, I don't get the purpose. Um, you know, so it's one of those things, whereas it's, I think that that was really nice in order for them to have like whole separate items that you could get at the flea market. You also can get collectibles at the free market, like uh, jewels and stuff like that. But anyway, I would go through all this stuff, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory as you kind of, as I play through it, um, you'll probably see because I will be doing an LP on here because I had already had in my mind what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go on and go through with it. Um, even though I'm not 100% filling the game pack because, you know, I got it now. Now, we'll say you cannot change any exterior things of the building. So you see, I'm trying to grab, to grab these windows. I can't do it. Um, well, let me think. I'm thinking you can't do it, but why is it giving me that? Can I expand it out here? Okay, no, that's what I was thinking. I can't expand it out there. But if I wanted to get rid of this second bedroom, um, I could totally just make, which is what I actually ended up doing with the girl that I played with. I actually um, got rid of all of this stuff because she didn't need a second bedroom. And I expanded, I'm going to throw this stuff away too. And then maybe I can show you guys some of the items that are in the, um, the build by so then we put that over there and then bring that over there. And then her bedroom is a lot larger. I could probably even bring this back, which is what I ended up doing. And then she has like a more of a square bedroom that's a lot bigger than um, what she had before. And then we could totally um, we'll put this on this wall. I'm kind of mimicking how I had it before. But um and then let's get her bed out of storage because it went into storage. And then uh, this is a new bed. Um, you could see the different colors. Uh, they're really pretty though. It's a really nice bed. It's not a very good quality bed though because I know whenever my girl would get up from sleeping, she would complain about the cheap bed. Um, let me see, what is it? It is a double futon. It's only worth 560 some <laughs> So yeah, so she's not filling the bed at all. Um, and then if you want to, you could put, uh, uh, you know, another space in here for, um, what am I trying to say? A, 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 an office space in here if you want to. But anyway, um, there is video games now in the game, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it, if it, um, let's see how much it costs. 399 simoleons. I don't know if it changes based on her skill level, but, um, I do know that when she has friends over, she could play multiplayer games. If not, she could just play a regular game or she could play an online game and then she could play with someone that's already online. Um, makes me wish that we had, um, a little bit more online interactivity. Like I really want dating. I really want online dating in this game. Um, but let's, let's adorn her walls really quickly so I can show you guys some of the build by mode items really quickly. So I'm just going to go to, let's actually filter items um, by city living. Uh, she has quite a bit of money to play around with. And let's go to decorations and nothing. Let's go to paintings. All right. So we got all these new paintings. We got street art prints we could put on the wall, um, which is actually kind of pretty. Uh, we got this one right here through the mist. That's really pretty. Um, Oh, whoa, that is way too big. Uh, but anyway, you can see there's a, there's a ton of new prints. Uh, we want to do a My Sims Go poster if she's kind of like a, um, a collectible type person. Um, trying to see what we could put on her wall, though. She needs something. She needs something on this wall. I just don't know what. Uh, Beauty and the Madness. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Let's get that one. And uh, does it come in any other colors? No, I was hoping that I could get like a bunch. Can I, oh, I, could, I could do like a little three thing right here, I guess. I don't know. Kind of on the fence about that one. Um, could move this over just a smidge. Not too much though. 
Can she get to her? Yeah, she can still get to her kitchen and everything like that. Okay, so like I said, within the apartment, you can definitely change stuff. I think you could even change the doors and move them around. Yeah, you could do that. Um, you could also change the walls, but anything on the external, you can't. You can't make the rooms any bigger, of course. If I wanted to move her bathroom, I could totally do that, which is cool. So within your little confined space, you could totally do like a bunch. Um, I should have changed this rug, but we're just gonna go on and keep it. So let me show you guys the interaction between neighbors. So I'm gonna go visit Penny Pizzazz really quickly. And uh, oh, we're having a welcome wagon right now, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't we? So as you can see, I go knock on the door and it goes to a loading screen, okay? So <laughs> this is one of the things that I was saying that is just a little bit nerve wracking because loading screens, depending upon how your game runs, could take a super duper long time, especially if you have like a lot of mods and stuff. I don't have any mods in right now and as you see, it's still taking some time. If I'm just going across the way, I wish that they would have made it available to actually just go and knock on the door and then just go inside the person's house. Like why couldn't they have treated it like one big lot? And like, you know how you can go from room to room in your own house without a loading screen? Make it where we can go room to room in this apartment complex or building and not have it be like a whole separate lot. It's like treating it like it's a whole separate lot. And then also get this, I'm at Penny Pizzazz place and now my place is completely, completely blank. So even though this is technically my place, I can't even see my place. So it's just like completely just takes everything off. And I'm just like, I don't understand. Of course, we won't be able to see Penny Pizzazz's place until they get, until she gives me access in. All right, so hopefully she'll let me in. Okay, so she just came out. <laughs> hopefully she'll let me, okay, where did she go? Where did Penny Pizzazz go? Seriously? Okay, I have no idea where my girl went. Um, let's knock on the door. I don't know where my girl went. Where is she at right now? Oh, Oh, how did she get down here? Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Don't don't even go down. Go here. Talk to Penny right here. All right, hi Penny. We're gonna do a friendly introduction to her. But this is what I'm talking about. You could be up here and go down here with no problem. But to go across the way to talk to a neighbor, I have to do a loading screen. It is the most annoyingest thing ever. Who left? Up? fruit cake on the ground okay I should totally go take a piece of that because she's a vegetarian and that's like a perfect <laughs> opportunity of course you have uh, people here that are performing just all randomly and it happens to be Miss Sophia Bjergsen um, so you could go watch her you could tip her would it be really cool though I'll just tip her 20 she's 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 cool um, but what'll be really cool though and I haven't tried this out yet is if you could really go work for tips and do that yourself oh she is bored Oh, from the movie. I didn't even realize she was watching a movie. And then you have these living statues over here, which you can kind of watch. And you could do little different interactions with them. You could uh, either make fun of them. You could, uh, once you start watching them, you can make fun of them. You could try to flirt with them. You could try to throw them off their game, which is kind of different and funny. Um, okay, what's going on? I'm trying to think what's going on. Okay, so she tipped her the money. All right, cool. So then we're going to come over here and go see. She is so bored right now, though. But the only time this little area really becomes lively is when there's like festivals and stuff going on. So let's watch. Is this a, oh, no, it's somebody else. So I'm watching her right now. She's doing her little thing. And see, I can wave at her. I can tip her. I can tease her. I can scare her. I can flirt her. I can flash crazy eyes. So like, let's say if I try to scare her, which I never tried to do that before. What will that do? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I don't know if that'll throw her off her game because she's a statue right now. Oh, okay. She didn't. She didn't get thrown off her game. Um, Annalise Thayer. I'm going to try to flirt with her. Let me tease her really quickly. So she's a statue. See? <laughs> Are we excited about it? I don't know. Is this something that's just like, wow, I, I can't believe we got this in our game? No, I'm not. I'm not feeling like that with it. But anyway, so if I wanted to go home, literally, all I have to do is, well, uh, technically I'm at uh, my par my neighbor's. Uh oh, where is my place? Oh, over here. I'm sorry. I'm in the I'm in a totally different. <laughs> I'm in a totally different apartment complex. So if I wanted to go up here, watch this. Watch this, guys. This is what's crazy about it. I could totally go up there and be fine. Watch, you're about to see. No loading screen, no nothing. But of course, if I wanna get into, now if I wanted to get into my apartment and I wasn't already loaded into my apartment, um, see, boom, no loading screen, no nothing. But of course, I'm already 
toggled to be at uh, at her house. So it's going to let me go in her house with no problem. At least it should. See, and now I'm in her house, even though she's not here. Um, and you can check out her place and everything like that. So that's what's so weird about it. It's like, why don't I need a loading screen in order to go downstairs? But to go across the way, see, so I'm going to go back home and watch. It's going to be a loading screen. I'm just going to go home by myself. Um, and it's going to need a loading screen. Tell me how crazy that is. I know it's kind of superficial and it's kind of like it's not that big of a deal. It's just but it's just like one more thing that I felt like they could have done a little bit better with. As far as gameplay, it takes away from the game if I have to sit here just to go next door and just socialize with my neighbor. If that's what this game pack is supposed to be about, having the neighbor experience, having the apartment living experience, just being able to um socialize and everything with no problem I would feel like that that would be uh one of the things that we should be able to do just kind of like come and go and not have to do the loading screen thing you know what I'm saying like it's just it feels like it's it's defeating the purpose of um of uh being able to to do that so I'm going to show you guys one more time I'm gonna go back down here and she's going to be able to go like it's no big deal I'm going to have her order something a vegetarian of course because she is a vegetarian uh let's see order food um, is egg rolls, uh, I need something that, okay, sweet and sour pork, I think that, I mean, sweet and sour eggplant, I think that's be vegetarian, so watch, she'll come down here, uh, she'll just appear down here, no loading screen, <laughs> okay, so I'm done having a conversation about the loading screen, let's go really quickly, I'm not going to even have her go really order anything, let's go really quickly to the karaoke bar, I'm going to visit the karaoke bar, let's take Penny with us, because I'm trying to make friends with her, oh, there's some protesters out here really quickly, uh oh, pause, pause, pause. I want, you, oh, I want to show you guys protesters. So every once in a while, you'll see protesters uh, out and about. And I mean, that's different, but I don't know what they're protesting about. <laughs> Am I trying to make this game a lot deeper than it really is? No, but yes, at the same time, because I'm the type of person where I can make the best out of any situation. Uh, people complain about a lot of things with the Sims that we don't have. And people, some people might want things to be like spoon fed to them. And me, I just kind of like make do with what I have and either we'll add mods or things like that. But um, for the most part, I just kind of, I, I do it like that. Let's sing a duet with her. Let's do some country singing, I guess with Penny. Um, I just saw Dominic's name pull a post up. Yeah, Dominic, I don't know what's going on with you. Anyway, so um, karaoke is like a new nice addition. I am glad that we got that back. That was something that was big in The Sims 3 that I really, really enjoyed. And with that, hopefully a singing career is coming next because you can do contests. and th I'm going to cut this down because she's super loud. You can do contests and stuff like that. And then they'll pick winners and you can get prizes and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. That is a different thing. Uh, there's a new toilet, <laughs> which is so funny because when my girl last time used it for the first time, she was like, what is that? Like, she was just like, what? <laughs> so I'm going to let her uh, go use a question mark. Oh, okay. So it says, keep interacting with this object to learn the special functionality. Um, so we right now we know use, but we don't know anything else about it. So I guess we could just go use whatever that option is. And she's singing. And of course, the better she gets, I mean, the more she sings, the better she'll get. She's actually got a, um, a, a, what you call it, a skill, skill level now for singing, which is nice. Like I said, I'm really going to look forward to doing more music videos and things like that with my Sims. And so this will come in handy because we don't have, all we had was like the comedy thing as far as interacting with a mic. We didn't have singing. So this is really nice and every once in a while which we haven't I'm trying to wait for us to get one every once in a while we'll get like a little thing popping up saying oh the festival's going on or oh karaoke night at the bar or singles night you know and you'll get all that type of stuff one thing she's like what watch watch she's gonna be like what is that oh she didn't do it oh she didn't do it maybe she's already a hip to the game maybe she's already hip to the game Okay, I don't know what she's talking about. Anyway, <laughs> but so that's pretty much like the karaoke experience. Now, I will say that with the text messaging, which I don't know if we'll get into it in this particular um, small gameplay, but you know, you'll get weird random text messages from your friends saying, oh, there's a circus in town. Let's go to the circus. But I haven't seen a circus there was one where it was like a concert and the boyfriend of the girl I was playing, Briella, and there was, he never, I just, I clicked okay, but we never went anywhere. So I don't know if those are actual things or we're just like pretending. So um, like, let's say if we go back out here, let's go here together. Let me see if it's going to do another loading screen. Cause we should, I would feel like we should be able to walk out here. I feel like this is always going to be like open world or open world concept, so to speak. 
Um, I think it will be. I think it, yeah, it will be. Okay, so yeah, so this one's always open world concept. We can kind of look at the protesters and see what's going on. Um, okay, they're done just that quick. I look like Penny is going home. So really quickly, I wanted to show you guys uh, the the job situation. So I'm gonna have her go home really quickly and we can go through the jobs. I would really, 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 and I'm like, I'll keep comparing it to Sims 3, uh, the the, the um, city nightlife, I'm about to call city living. Um, I, I would love to have like musical band options. Um, you know, hopefully that'll be something that they can add later on like a more entertainment type thing because i feel like you know we didn't get i mean karaoke is nice but and then we got oh then we got the bubbles you got the bubbles back which is kind of nice but other than that we really didn't get like let's do the drums let's do the guitar let's do the band you know like i, I used to love playing sims 3 um and I had a family that I played, like, of course, in my in my free time. And the lady was a vampire. The wife was a vampire. The man was like, you know, he was just like a band guy. So he played the, he played, what did he play? The guitar, I think. And then he had like, and they would really go to get together and practice. They would have gigs and stuff like that. And I just, I miss that type of stuff, you know? But anyway, let's go have her look for a job really quickly so I can show you guys the job situation. Let's find a job. And then um, I'll probably end up wrapping up this part. Like I said, I want you guys to make your own decision of what you think. I'm just giving you my personal opinion about it so far. Um, I'm definitely going to make lemonade out of it. I'm not even worried about the the fact that I'm not 100% happy with it. I will make it work, but... Um, I just wish that there was a little more to it. So critic is one that we have and it says everyone has an opinion, but not everyone is paid to have it. Sims who feel they have superior judgment can enter the critic career. So it'll be foods or arts, you know, you can have, you know, something to say about it and basically do that, <laughs> I guess. The next one is politician, um, which we join a life of public service from protesting against the unjust to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting at the occasional bribe as a means to an end. And politics is always interesting. And then you have the branches of politician and charity organizer. I didn't see if there was branches. Oh, you got arts critic and food critic. And then the last one, which is like the big one for me, is the social media one. Uh, what's trending? Where's the best food in town? Who's the most interesting celebrity? Start, but we don't have celebrities in the game. Don't forget that. Anyway, which I wish we had, like we did on The Sims 3. I'm sorry. Anyway, start a career in social media to be the person that answers these questions for their followers. Blog and check in at venues to keep followers coming back for more. You can either be an internet personality or public relations. I actually played with Briella through this one and she made it to public relations. Um, I have not tried the other careers. So I'm not 100% sure um, what they all do. But I do know one cool feature is that you can, or at least with the social media one, you can do the option to work from home. So, uh, oh, we could work assignment, level up on writing. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. And let me grab her a computer really quickly. Um, I feel like a good place to put a computer would probably be right here. Uh, we did get new desk and stuff, but I'm just going to just grab one really quickly. All right. So we got a desk really quickly. Let's get a chair. And honestly, I do not even care what the chair looks like. I prefer a rolly chair. So let's just get like a, um, I guess we'll get this brown one here. Do we have space for it? It appears we don't. <laughs> it appears we don't. It appears we do not have a space for it. Um, I guess let's scoot this stuff over a little bit more, which is going to be kind of weird because it's like walking in. <laughs> like talk about being innovative with your space. Like, ugh, are you kidding me right now? Uh, all right, let's put the chair now. Uh, which one was it that I wanted? This one? I think it was. Okay, cool. And then let's get a quick computer. Um, I guess we can get the new computer. It's really expensive, but I mean, it's really nice. Uh, let's get the new one. It actually looks like a Mac. <laughs> to me, it does. Um, let me check her pictures really quickly because I know we're going to be all off center now. Um, but this is fine. All right. And then I kind of want to get her another TV, to be honest with you. Let's get her another TV because I'm just not feeling that one anymore. And I know this is not going to be like my girl that I'm going to play with uh, for the LP, but I just want another TV. I just want another TV. I do. I just want another TV. Um, okay, that one is not much better. <laughs> but it looks at least it looks nicer. Okay. All right. So let's get in here and let's get her started with her uh, new assignment. What does she need to do? What did it say? Level up on writing skills. So we're just going to go practice writing. Let's practice writing because we don't want to write a column right now. Um, 
but yeah, as you can see, like I was saying, like just trying to maneuver around and see everything. I mean, the views are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's a very pretty um, game and you can really see the sunrise and the sunset. And it just looks like so much hustle and bustle is going on down there. But it's just like all for show. I mean, it really is like if we go over here. We see the protesters down here, which if I'm not mistaken, they really probably are really down there and there probably really is a violinist down there. There's probably really people out there talking if I go down there right now, that probably is stuff really happening. But anything beyond there, like all of that and stuff is just not, it's not, it's not real. It's just not. And it's a little disappointing because you would want and you would hope that we should really be able to go interact with all this stuff. But it's a really pretty world. Um, I, like I said, I'll give them that. I, I wish I had more positive things to say about it. Um, another thing that really bothered me, and it's more so for realisticness of it, because I like I like my games to be that, that I like my games to make sense. Let's put it that way. This door is fugly. Anyway, I like my games to make. <laughs> I said fugly. Oh my gosh. I like my games to make uh, sense. Like I want them to actually make sense. Like my gameplay, um, you know, with pretty much any game, like I wouldn't even say like the Sims. I'm just going to say like any game. I want them to actually make sense. And um, one thing that doesn't make sense is when you start having noise, which I was kind of hoping that this stuff would happen while I was over here. Let me give you guys a glimpse of that guy though. Oh my gosh. Where is he at? If he's like a real person in this game, I need to meet him. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, he's a good looking sim. You can't tell me he's not a good looking sim. Now, if Penny's on a, on a, on a, on a billboard, where is this guy at? He's got to be a real guy somewhere. You guys got to let me know. I'm so serious when I say that. I really, I really want, I really, really want, um, I really want to meet him. I want, I want one of my Sims somewhere to meet him. Okay. All right. So tell me, tell me where he's at. Anyway, long story short, what was I saying? Um, when your neighbors and stuff are making noise, like when I was playing by myself and my Sim Briella heard like a ton of screaming and arguing at Penny's apartment. By this point I had played a couple days. So I definitely had like a very good tight knit close relationship with Penny. Um, I was like, who is she in there fussing with? And it, it bothered me a little bit because she was screaming and hollering. And is that Briella's boyfriend down there? I think it is. I think that is him. Yeah. No, that's not him. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I went to go knock on her door to kind of like see what was going on. Because of course, when there's a lot of noise and stuff, your sim becomes um, becomes all sorts of negative moods. It could be uncomfortable. It could be angry. It could be tense. I mean, just anything just that could just mess up her mood, just totally kill her vibe. And so I went over there to go knock on the door. And I was like, Penny, you know, like, hypothetically, Penny, what's going on? Who are you arguing with? And there was clearly two voices. It was like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. and it was like, rah, 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 rah. so it was two voices. Um, knock on the door. Penny comes out and I, I asked to go inside and there's nobody in the apartment with her. Who in the heck are you fussing with? And she clearly was angry. She was stomping around. She was slamming refrigerator doors and whatnot. And I was like, but who are you arguing with? Then another time, a Penny was getting busy a lot in my other game file and she was woohooing and there was like little hearts and wait, is there something going on over there now? Oh, no. Okay. But when you see somebody... <laughs> When you see the interaction of somebody woohooing, uh, they'll be like hearts and they'll be like, dump, dump, dump. and then it'll make your sim totally like angry or whatever. Then you can have the option to go over there and pound on the door or knock, not knock, knock politely on the door. And again, I go over there. Penny was a single. I had asked her that before was trying to hook her up with different sims and in our, in our little free time. And she never took the bait. And, but she's over there woohooing with somebody. Who are you woohooing with? So saying all that to say is that if she's really over there arguing with somebody, let there have literally been like another Sim in the apartment with her. If she was over there woohooing, let her have really had her boyfriend over there. And I'm like, if she's in the apartment by herself, but there's all this woohoo noise coming, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And you know, it's like little stuff like that. And I love details in my games and I like details that make sense, you know? And to me, that detail just did not make sense. I wanted to show you guys the... uh the city line really quickly at night. I mean, look how pretty it is. You got skylights over there going off. You got the buildings. I mean, it's just beautiful, but it's not real. It's not real, guys. We can't do anything with all these buildings. I mean, some of these probably are real, but a good vast majority of them are not. And it's, it's just a little bit disheartening. I mean, we could say all day long, like, wow, look at all the pretty scenery. And wow, you know, this game is beautiful. But I mean, if I can't do anything with this stuff, 
what is the point? I mean, you got billboards all over the place. I mean, if we're going to have billboards for headphones, I would like the headphones. I guess this is a Granite Falls um, advertisement, I guess. Um, you know, I, I that's how I feel at this point. You know, you got billboards, you got all these advertisements, you got this canned drink right here. I'm assuming the canned drink is available. I don't know. I don't know. But it's like, where where is that stuff? Where is it? I mean, I guess, you know, they did a really good job, like with the aesthetics of it. And you got, and then when the moon come, when the sun comes up, the moon really does kind of go down and you got like that whole view and everything, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just makes me wish for Sims 3 all over again. It really does. It makes me wish for Sims 3. But um, like I said, you could go down here and the courtyard, you could kind of see who's what's happening and see what's going on. And this totally looks like this is Briella's boyfriend. Yep, this is Briella's boyfriend that I was playing with in my free time. He's a cutie. He's really cute. Um, but um, so I, and then of course, you probably got your your gamut of Sims that come with this game pack and you'll have like those and you'll have all their stories and personalities and things like that. They could kind of like make this world your own. But I mean, pretty much this whole little area right here is just free reign. You could just kind of walk around. Uh, there'll be boxes on the ground and you can kind of search through the boxes like this one right here. If I wanted to go through and go look for a snow globe, which is another collectible that we have now. Um, things of that nature. But like I said, when I do the LP, I'll probably be able to delve more so into the gameplay of it and really give you guys a good overview of actually playing it as opposed to playing it for a couple hours that I have. Uh, like I said, I started it last night, played for a little bit. Oh, she has to use the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna let her do that really quickly though. And then, um, you know, no elevator interaction like it used to be. Uh, remember how we used to go to the elevator and you could really uh, like woohoo an elevator, try for a baby in the elevator. You could like really interact with the elevator and do things in the elevator and you just don't you don't have that with this so anyway i think i'm going to go on and end this here like i said um i will be starting a new lp involving this um this this um expansion pack i think right now it's on the calendar let me look really quickly i'm going to finish up sims uh for get to work and it's going to be in this slot in this time slot on tuesday and I think my first episode will be on the 29th of November. And I know everybody else is getting started with their Sims Living City. I mean, City Living um, LPs. And that's fine. Um, I wanted to finish or finalize my other LPs before I got started. Um, I actually saw a handful. And I'm not shading anybody. Don't get me wrong. Everybody can do whatever they want with their own YouTube channel or their own gameplay or whatever. But I saw a couple people that were just like, I'm going to stop playing this so I can get ready for Sims, you know, for, for city living and just like left like a, an unresolved like storyline. And I didn't want to do that. I mean, I could totally just be like, okay, I want to play city limit living and I could try to cram it in and overwhelm myself, but I don't want to do that either. So I'm just going to let, um, Sims, uh, for get to work season two finalize. And then, like I said, in this time slot on the 29th, I'll be starting. I think you guys will appreciate it a little bit more because by that time I'll probably, um, I, well, I already got my storyline and my sim and everything ready. She's actually, <laughs> she's actually a little girl right now. Well, she's about to age up to a teen. I've been playing her because I want her to have like a very already established background and a backstory. I didn't want to just throw somebody into the game that has no friends, no family, no nothing. And um, so it's something that I have been working on for some time, just getting in preparation. So I'm a little bit disappointed when I was like preparing for like at least a month for this LP I mean this expansion pack and it's just kind of been like hit or miss with it but anyway I am going to go on and end this part thank you so much for listening to my rant if you guys downloaded it and you feel the same way please let me know if you don't please let me know as well because maybe I'm missing some things or maybe there's some things that I just haven't seen and I'm just not being as open-minded as I should um I think I really, really was expecting one thing and I just, we didn't, we got some of it, but we didn't get it like how I wanted to get it. So anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.